Right, what's going on YouTube? I know I'm not officially back yet, but I wanted to try and catch a little bit of this while the fire was still hot. And I'm talking about the state of play, PlayStation's like sort of mid live stream stuff. Usually they announce a bunch of things and stuff like that. Whatever, I didn't get to watch the entire thing because it came on during my work chef. However, there is something that I did want to check out and I wanted to make sure that, uh, why not? Why not make a reaction out of it, right? That's what the cool kids do. And that is for the updated version of Final Fantasy 7 Remake and it's being I know it's being upgraded to the PlayStation 5 but I heard there's some other stuff in there as well I didn't get to watch the trailer so I figured I'd check it out with you guys I'll have a link in the description down below to check out the trailer itself if you want to see me talk about it uh, we'll probably try and dissect it a little bit and see where it goes and all that stuff so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it I'm excited to see what's happening um, I do know of the release date, which is actually a surprising thing uh, because it's Square Enix, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So let's go ahead and check out this trailer. All right, so just a standard opening from the beginning. All footage is in development. Okay, it definitely looked a lot cleaner than PlayStation 4. It looks like it's a lot better textures and cleaner lighting. We'll, we'll go into more depth than that. And of course, glorious 60 FPS. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lot cleaner. We'll, we'll break this down, yeah. I'm actually surprised they're doing a, a remake or an updated version of this. I figured they would let it rock until like the next installment. It is a good looking game. Even back on PlayStation 4, it was a really good looking game. Oh, okay, that classic mode, okay. Of course, faster loading times with the, uh, the SSD inside of the PlayStation 5, which makes sense. Photo mode, of course. Can't have a PlayStation 5 game without photo mode, which is going to be great for this. You're going to see some really cool screenshots. I can't wait for that. That's going to be fun to play with. This is what... Okay. All right. So they're actually bringing in Yuffie pretty early in the game. And some new character. Yuffie and Sonon. Okay. So we do get a full episode. All right. I'm I'm for it. I'm I'm with the episode. So Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. Okay. So yeah, it's an updated version. If you own a copy of the PlayStation 4 version, upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version for free. You can even carry over your save data. Fantastic. And of course, I believe if you upgrade, you still get that uh, Yuffie episode, which is nice. It's definitely interesting to see her character very early on too. So, all right. That was uh that was pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and break it down a little so, bit. So yeah, we'll start off here with the textures. Don't worry, I'm gonna hide my face. So you can see around. Uh, let me see if you can see my mouse cursor. Probably not. Um, but here around the sword is that we can really see the updated textures. And I know this isn't the best video quality. I try to uh, rip the best video quality as much as I can. But just from the design of the sword and just the clarity of the textures, you can definitely see that it has been upgraded. Um, these are probably true 4K textures here. Here is probably, I want to say, maybe 2K or maybe just 1080p textures. But yeah, you can definitely see... Uh, See the updated stuff here with the materia. It looks a lot cleaner. I know I could probably try and zoom in um, in actual video itself, but just on this shot alone from the side by side comparison, you can definitely tell that the uh, updated textures here of the Buster Sword. I think here's another good example to show off the updated textures, just kind of like on the backdrop here. It's really noticeable here. And this is kind of like one of the small complaints I had about the Final Fantasy IV remake, the background and some of the uh, 
the stuff that's not in your face was really really low res and i wish i had some footage to kind of show you but you can see they've updated those textures in the background so it looks a lot better um it, even though this is stuff that isn't really important but it really does set the world and it kind of just brings it a little bit more in your face and alive so i'm definitely appreciative of that uh it's definitely a lot cleaner here as you can tell on this side these are low some low rest textures right like they're, they're pretty low and again they're just meant to just fill in the void but here again updated i would imagine these are probably i wouldn't say they're 4k probably still uh either close either probably 1080p or like 4k or 2k textures um yeah definitely updated here again with the buster sort you can kind of tell as well as the uh the little tunnels here a lot of updated stuff here and again i'll try and zoom in on the stuff i'm talking about as i'm talking about it but just for, again from the screenshot alone you can definitely tell they've uh they fixed a lot of the texture issues now i'm not gonna lie this is something i personally didn't care about and didn't really notice was the quote-unquote fog effects i mean it looks a little bit more dense so it does look like a little bit more fog but i also think it hides some of the textures Ho however the fog with the lighting definitely does uh pop out and it's a lot more noticeable so that is cool in like places that like have both fog and lighting i think it's really gonna shine there again it's kind of hard to tell um with fogging with fog lighting i'll try and see if i can like play a little bit of it here like you can tell in motion it does look good um but like again here it's not really that noticeable I mean, it is and it isn't. It looks a lot cleaner with the lights. And I think that's where you're gonna really notice the fog effects is like when it's in combination with like actual lighting, like you'll see those effects go on. Uh, whereas here, even though there is some lighting here, it's not it's not as clear as it is here with like actual like bright lights and stuff like that. So again, cool stuff, but not really something that I would get super excited about, but it is something to mention. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for it. I'm gonna play through Final Fantasy VII again. I was actually thinking about playing it on stream again, but now I'm just gonna wait for the update. Uh, just because I want to play it at 60 FPS. I want to try out some of the new features and I want to try out the, the new game mode or not the new game mode, but the new DLC with Yuffie. I want to see what that's all about. So definitely look forward to that come in June on terms of the stream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the breakdown. I don't really do these typically, but I may check out some of the other state of play stuff. And if there's something that does interest me, we'll, that may do another breakdown. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you next time. Take care.